What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. I may have to change my name. Um, so I did a, a video saying Happy Halloween to everybody yesterday, but this I'm dedicating this video just to let everybody know Lyft finally onboarded me. Let's see if I could do this on uh, on camera here. There we go. Look at that. And as you can see, this is really difficult to do. There you go. That's me. All right. Check it out. I am approved to drive for Lyft. Now, before I end up getting a run on here, let's go ahead and turn it off. Driver mode is off. And check this out. Pull up the trusty Maestro app. There you go. How about that? Go online. Let Maestro automatically pull up the Uber app for me. Now the Lyft app. Bingo. We're now online with both services. I absolutely love Maestro and Maestro is going to work a whole lot better now that I have uh, a lift on here as well. So we're going to turn these off. Maestro will shut down the apps for us. Bingo. Off. Just like that. So it's been about two years since I first applied with Lyft. And, you know, Lyft denied me over and over and over. And they kept having an issue with my background check. And, and it was such a small issue, I couldn't believe it. I kept messaging them, and I tried disputing it. I tried working with them and explaining the situation, which, you know, if you'd looked in, in, the, in the into the court documents or whatever, you would have clearly seen this was not a big deal, and it's something that I didn't even do. Something somebody else, done, somebody else had done that I ended up kind of getting stuck with because he lived in my house. Um... But anyway, it was not a big deal. It wasn't like a drug charge. It wasn't like a violent offense or anything like that. It was a very minor, minor charge. And the whole thing ended up dropped anyway. But uh, for whatever reason, Lyft wouldn't hire me. And I've tried over and over. I've tried in, in, in Indianapolis. I tried in Oklahoma. Couldn't get anything done. But, you know, I guess maybe enough time has passed. I don't know. I got contacted by Lyft uh, on something, a completely different subject, um, something that we were working on. And, you know, I, I told the gentleman, I was like, hey, is there anything that can be done? Can it be looked into, you know, as to why I'm not able to drive for Lyft? And the gentleman said, you know, let's reset your application, um, fill out another one and try it again, and let's see what happens. And I filled it out again, and this time it came back approved. So, you know, I don't doubt that this guy helped me uh, for sure, because he did reset the application and, you know, really guided me along the way. But, uh, I'm now approved for Lyft, so I am on the Lyft platform, so, you know, maybe you'll see some more videos regarding Lyft on this channel now, and hell, I may even have changed my name at some point. So that's it for the video. I just wanted to let you guys know I am now on Lyft as well as Uber. I'm really excited to be part of the Lyft team. They're supposed to be sending me uh, a Lyft amp, that cool little pill-looking thing with the... Uh, I, I can't wait to try that and do a video for you guys on it. But this is exciting. You know, it really is. Maybe I need to change the name of this channel to Uber Lyft Man or... Lyft Uber, man. I don't know. Any ideas? Comment them below, guys. <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave the name Uber, man, as long as you guys know that I do Lyft as well. Um, we're going to uh, be doing more updates uh, in regards to Lyft. In fact, after this video will be the very first official video that I'm doing about Lyft as being a Lyft partner um, about a recent change that took place uh, actually today. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe, stay safe out there. Uber and Lyft on.